right, air signs. So Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to Toad432.com. This is Toad432 Studios. We are going to be running a timeless general collective reading for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, moon, and rising signs could be affected. And as I mentioned, wow, the intent is timeless. So whenever it reaches you, it may be relevant or just entertaining. Do not force anything to fit your personal life or situation. That being said, if you're interested in a personal version of this reading, you can find all details at Toad432.com. And there'll be a small commercial that runs at the end of the reading. Like, like share, and subscribe if you're motivated to, if you enjoy the reading. And let's jump right in. So... Current energy on the table is what we look at first. The foundation, how we created this energy into our into our life. Any outside energy that we should be aware of. Square up the deck. Blind spot. Anything we may not be recognizing but probably should. Um, advice from spirit. So this is the advice that spirit would give. I take these three cards and bust them into one sentence. And then we finish up with the outcome. The outcome is dependent upon the belief that you follow this advice. You don't follow this advice, all bets are off. That's the only way we can actually come up with a timeline. Because the future is fluid based upon, of course, the decisions that we make moment to moment. So bottom of the deck is the star. I like that. Aquarius energy, actually. Um, expansive. It's full of ideas. Uh, Aquarius energy, the star energy. It's where we see possibilities, where we see things that we didn't notice before. Um, we're able to recognize things in a different way. We see them from... It's really about the energy of expansion at the bottom of the deck it's really about we see it from a broader perspective we see the bigger picture but we see something expanded for a collective reading we see something expanded as opposed to the way we saw before we're coming into the reading a little bit guarded over the idea of sanctuary two force to start four four moon yeah unknown we don't know what to do, do we? That's difficult because you come into the reading a little bit guarded, a little lot bit guarded. Um, Four of Pentacles is the idea of he's holding on to those pentacles and he's holding on tight because he needs to protect them. He's protecting himself. He's protecting what he has. He's protecting what he's protective. But he's overprotective because he's, well, maybe not. Because you've got the four of wands after that. That's the idea of sanctuary. Where do you feel safe? Where do you feel at home? What makes you feel safe? What in that and what what would you have in that environment? How would one define that environment? And then how would one create it for themselves? Because that's the energy that's on the table. And you're in hope and optimism, but you have no idea where you're going. Because <laughs> you got the moon card as the last one, and it's like the moon isn't closing the door. It's just you're not seeing the next step. You're not able to see the next step because you're not supposed to see the next step. The first two, I've, I've already done two readings with this set of readings, set of four. Um, I did water and earth. And both of them had the destiny card come up in the advice. So something's being pushed and pulled in the general energy. So I'll be curious as to see whether that comes up in this reading or if we just... You guys get a new energy. How did you get here? Well, you made a decision. Judgment. You made a firm and final decision on something. And then started to move forward. Not leaps and bounds, but started to move forward in a, in a beginning. In a way of beginning, if you would. Because you've got the page then moving to the Queen of Pentacles. This is a progression, so it shows growth. It moves from a page to a queen. It moves from idea to understanding. Do you see what I'm saying? It's it's the idea that 
that we've learned because she works off of her experience and makes decisions based upon the wise countenance that she's created through turning experiences positive and negative into wisdom by allowing herself to see the purpose the underlying purpose for it or try to understand that at least but that's where we're, she's moved from the energy of the page to the queen. So this is an evolution. It's growth. So why don't you know where you're going? That's got to be in the blind spot. So I'm going to leave that right there. But basically a firm and final decision was made on something. And then a direction was headed in. Because the page of pentacles. I don't see any movement. To be honest though. In the past I don't. I don't see tangible movement because you go from a page, which is about ideas, communication, you go to the queen. But the queen's not a card of movement. The king would be a card of movement or the knight especially would be a card of movement. But this is still just being wise, just keeping it within oneself. It's not maybe necessarily acting upon, which is why maybe you don't know where you're going. But with the four of... of uh, with the first or the second four being the four of wands, whatever you're headed towards is the idea of solidification of that idea of sanctuary. So let's look at the energy outside of ourselves. Ten of wands or ten of swords. Hanged man. Three cups. This energy has released something and it knows it. It's very clear of it. And it's really happy about it. You got... This is basically a mini reading that goes off of the side. So this is your energy. And this is the energy in the mini reading that is any energy outside of ourselves that we should be aware of. The energy that you should be aware of is something that... Past, present, future. Or what it's coming in with. How it's affecting it now. And where... It it would where it's pushing it, pushing it towards if you would so ten of swords there's been a major release they've let go of something the man being able to see something completely different no doubt when you let go of something when you when you completely let go of something the ten of swords is a release it's a oh you know that breathing out where you get you actually get to breathe it's it's actually letting go and moving forward from something this is going to change the way that this energy sees things its whole perspective and it is celebrated with the three of cups it's, it's about socialization and that type of thing as well but overall being in after when these two cards are the first two cards that that precede this one I have to say that this whole process is heavily celebrated, if not by the individual that this is speaking about, but rather the people around. Everybody's seeing the growth. You're going to recognize this growth because this individual has released something major. And they've now they see something different. Now you're going to see the, the benefit of that, the growth from it, because you've got the Three of Cups. That's happiness, joy, celebration. So this isn't something that is going to be regressive it's not going to fall back into an old pattern whatever was released is released because the, the paradigm shift is there if you would with the hangman seeing something completely different from a different perspective allowing one to move forward in a completely different way so that's the energy outside of oneself we're going to move forward to your blind spot what are you not seeing <laughs> um, what you're not seeing so this being the blind spot it changes the message a little bit of what the regular cards would mean so the six of swords the king the knight of swords and the lovers card what you're not seeing is is not allowing one's life to stabilize not allowing the six of swords no okay i gotta do no, this isn't a sentence. This is a blind spot, so we're good. All right. Sometimes we're focused on outward things, 
and it keeps chaos going in our life or it keeps at least something to focus on that's not ours that's the problem the six of swords is that when you calm down everything you have the six of swords and things calm down but then the things that are present in our own life have to be addressed that's the knight of swords coming in that takes us to a place of overall balance the levels lovers card it could be a relationship exterior to us or it could just be us coming into that balance within ourselves that is more more harmonious with who we actually are but needless to say it's because we're getting sidelined it's back and forth not allowing the stabilization to take place in the in in your life is what is not allowing you to actually um, imagine for a moment if the Knight of Swords was. Imagine you're playing a card game like Euchre, if you're familiar with Euchre. Euchre, you play cards in your hand throughout to keep the game going. So you get your five cards and you have to play those cards. Imagine if you had like a powerhouse card in your hand that let you solve problems. You have that card in your hand, but you keep playing it for others rather than playing it. And perhaps that's why, because then you don't have to play it for yourself because playing it for ourselves, then we have to actually acknowledge things about ourselves and that move forward. But that's really what I get from it is that it's, it's playing that card everywhere else, fixing everybody else's stuff is causing you to not recognize or allow yourself to come into that balance of your own. Advice from spirit moving forward. Nine of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. And the Eight of Wands. You're truly going to have to see and appreciate yourself in a whole new way. To allow that true abundance to start flowing in and things to accelerate in your life. Um, and I get pulled back to the blind spot until you recognize where this pulls me right and this pulls me left and this pulls me away from that core that I should be headed towards. That that what I want, that thing, that whatever it is, the goal, dream, the vision, that it pulls me away. I don't focus where I need to be. I don't get myself grounded and stable. I don't use this benefit for growth, but rather I use it for, um, I use it to help everything else. I use it to stabilize the world around me rather than stabilizing yourself. I'll give you a piece of advice. Stabilize yourself and the world around you will appreciate it more because you're going to be in a much greater position to be able to help others if you get your own together first and that's really what this is referring to because with the lovers card that's the harmony and the balance coming in where intuition and logic blend together but that has us looking at ourselves in, in hard ways and growing that great advice you give to everybody else you got to start actually leading by example and living it within your own life that's that's the issue there so um with the advice you got to see and appreciate yourself for imagine um, treating yourself like you treat everybody else or imagine treating yourself like you would a child rather than being so self-critical rather than saying I'm this I'm that I'm all of these things that are negative I am be very careful what you adhere to that the end of that sentence because it's one of the most powerful sentences that you can utter to be completely honest but with the nine of pentacles you need to recognize who you truly are you need to recognize the things about yourself those and you need to start activating those in your own life so that you don't get sidelined by everything else and you allow that abundance to flow in on whatever level it is whether it's just time and then you get to it reflects back out more than than you cut it off that's the thing because with the eight of wands there's an acceleration of things after that it's like getting out of the way and all of a sudden boom that's fire at the speed of light that's creative energies at their best so that's the advice 
where that leads you leads you to the man in the mirror or the woman in the mirror take it as it resonates um or it fits i guess you got the hermit i'm gonna stop right here and not move forward to the next because i want to address this one fully the hermit is self-reflection just what i said here this is actually understanding it's asking why the greatest things i've ever done for myself is when i started to recognize the things i was doing and ask the question why why do i hold that opinion why do i think like that why 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 start questioning yourself on why you feel the way you feel was it handed to you where did it come from why is it because it's something that emotionally manipulates or moves us so why do i feel like that once you start to then ask those questions you, they, the subconscious will get you the answer you just have to ask the question you ask it enough times and the subconscious will provide you the answer that self-reflection but we have to get quiet and we have to get open to actually hearing the answer because when the answer comes in sometimes it's not exactly what we want to hear and we have to be mature enough to be able then to recognize and deal with that but this is self-reflection on those levels this is like i say seeing oneself at a deeper level and not being critical about it but being loving and supportive about it rather than it you know next we have the fool the leap of faith you have to take that leap of faith in and of yourself it's the thing that you just thought if i say you know that thing you want to do and you like go oh, when you think about really doing it it's that thing it's the thing that terrifies you but it's time to get up and go the nine of wands it's time to get up and start moving forward because the nine of wands is the wounded warrior you've done the healing you just don't recognize who you are once this process is finished you need to get up and start moving but i think that's going to be a natural part of the process because i think that um once this energy once you re-recognize who you are once you re recognize yourself you're going to be driven in a different way so that is what I have for air signs. If you're interested, like I say, in a personal version of this very message, you can find it at tote432.com. And it's the quick question reading, or there's a messenger reading, which is a little more in depth. And they're both available at tote432.com. Other than that, have an absolutely amazing day. Like, share, and subscribe if it resonates. And I will see you all in one of my next videos everything in life is a lesson and a blessing and that is the, the most difficult task life is a game of cold control